This is the Winchester Mystery House. It is one of the most intriguing mansions in the world, and I'm not just saying that, this story is going to blow your mind. In San Jose, California, stands one of the largest and most bizarre private residences in the United States. The story of Sarah Winchester is a tale with as many twists and turns as there are in this house. This place has mystified people for a hundred years. This house grew over the years to encompass about 24,000 square feet of space. It's not just big, it's huge. In today's episode, we are going to explore why this infamous property was built. We'll get into the house specifications, why the house is so famous, and exactly what this mansion is being used for today. The Winchester Mystery House is located in San Jose, California at 525 Winchester Boulevard, and it was built by Sarah Winchester, the widow of William Winchester, who was the son of Oliver Winchester. That's a lot of Winchesters. Sarah's father-in-law, Oliver Winchester, was the founder of the Winchester Firearms Company, which was established back in 1866. And his rifles were said to have defined a generation, and Oliver's invention of the repeating rifle became famous for its rugged construction and for allowing a rifleman to fire multiple shots prior to needing to reload. Back to Sarah though, who built the Winchester house that we're talking about today. Sadly, Sarah lost nearly everybody in her family in a really short window of time. Sarah and her husband had one daughter who they lost in 1866. And in 1881, she lost her mother, her father-in-law, and her husband. Naturally, all of this death in the family was traumatic and devastating, so Sarah consulted with a psychic to find out why everybody she knew was dying. The psychic ended up telling Sarah that she was cursed by the spirits of the millions of victims who had been killed by the Winchester rifles, and the only way to appease the spirits was to move west and build a house for them. At this point, Sarah was worth a fortune, so she didn't fight it. She moved to Santa Clara Valley with $20 million in the bank, and she bought a 140-acre plot of land to start building what's now known as the Winchester Mystery House. One of the stipulations of this psychic is that once Sarah started building this house, she could never stop building, and as long as the house remained in construction, she would keep the spirits at bay, and they wouldn't bother her. From this point forward, the construction process process of the Winchester Mystery House spanned over nearly four decades. From 1884 until Sarah Winchester's death in 1922, Sarah Winchester had a team of architects and craftsmen working on the house, but she was also known for making changes and additions on the fly. One of the unique features of the construction process here was the lack of formal plan or blueprint for the house. Instead of having real blueprints, Sarah Winchester would sketch out her ideas on scraps of paper, which the workers would then attempt to implement into the design. Because of this, as you would expect, this house ended up with a bunch of straight up bizarre architectural features. As she was instructed by the psychic, Sarah never did stop building, and the result is a sprawling 24,000 square foot mansion with 160 rooms, 10,000 windows, 47 fireplaces, 40 staircases, and to further distract these spirits and confuse the ghosts, the house was built with a bunch of doors and staircases that lead to nowhere, windows that overlook other rooms, and it even has a seance room where Sarah would communicate with the spirits. Now, if you're gonna build a house for 40 years straight, naturally the construction process kinda has this never-ending cycle of building and then demolishing and then rebuilding again. Sarah Winchester really did believe that those spirits of the people who were killed by the Winchester right were haunting her, and she thought that building new rooms and structures all the time at this house would appease them. Construction workers often found themselves building rooms and structures around the house that had no apparent purpose. Plus, Sarah was known to incorporate different architectural styles here as well, like Gothic and Queen Anne, which of course made the build process that much more complicated. Another thing to note is this was not a cheap build. They used high quality materials and luxurious finishes. Remember, Sarah was worth a fortune and she definitely spared no expense. Overall, the construction process of the Winchester Mystery House was unique and unconventional, but it led to building a mansion unlike any other mansion on the planet. Sarah Winchester's belief in ghosts and the supernatural influenced every single aspect of this design, and her insistence on constantly building and rebuilding created a house that is both mysterious and fascinating. 
Unfortunately, very little is known about the construction of the Winchester house. Sarah was pretty secretive about her construction plans and methods. It is known that Sarah Winchester employed a team of craftsmen and architects with some of these workers reportedly brought in from Europe. Despite the lack of information about the contractors who worked on the house though, it is clear that they were highly skilled and dedicated to their craft. Most estimates suggest that the total cost to build this place was somewhere in the range of five or six million bucks. Doesn't sound like much today, but this was a staggering amount of money in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. Remember though, Sarah Winchester was worth around $20 million at the time, and the Winchester company continued to thrive throughout her lifetime, so she basically had an unlimited budget to carry out this build until she eventually passed away. Remember, her biggest priority was just to create an environment where the spirit that she thought were haunting her would stay away. Nowadays, the Winchester house is famous for one, for its unique and peculiar design, but for two, believe it or not, there are actually a lot of reports that this house is still haunted. Many people believe that the spirits of the people killed by the Winchester's rifles still do haunt the mansion, and there have been countless reports of ghostly sightings and strange occurrences here over the years. Today, the home is a popular tourist attraction and is open for tours. Visitors can explore the mansion and learn all about its history, as well as experience some of these sensations that people claim to feel while inside the house. In recent years, the Winchester house has gone through significant restoration efforts by modern contractors who are doing everything they can to basically preserve and maintain this historic mansion. There's a bunch of other supposed haunted houses out there in the world that have similar stories to the Winchester Mystery House, but in my opinion, nothing stacks up to what Sarah built in San Jose, California. The Lemp Mansion in St. Louis, Missouri was built by the Lemp family in the late 19th century. This family made their fortune in the brewing industry, but several of those family members passed away, and today this mansion is said to be haunted by the ghost of those family members. The Myrtles Plantation in St. Francisville, Louisiana was built in the late 18th century, and it also has a long history of paranormal activity. Legend has it on this one that the plantation is built on top of an Indian burial ground and a lot of guests have reported sightings of ghosts and strange occurrences here over the years. Then there's the Whaley House. This one's in San Diego, California. This house was built in the mid 19th century and it also has a reputation as one of the most haunted houses in America after several people have passed away on the property. Whether you believe in ghosts or not, one thing's for sure, the Winchester Mystery House is a must visit for anybody out there who's interested in history or architecture. I know I'll be giving it a visit next time I'm up in the area. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I'll see you next time.